The data of 2.3 million people has been leaked after a hacker managed to find a backdoor into the popular dating site Meet Mindful. It's incidents like this that highlight the importance of good internet security. And step one of good internet security is a good VPN. Virtual Shield is the only VPN I'll ever use because they have a strict no-log policy and their software has been built from the ground up for privacy protection. Go to hidewithbear.com or use the link below to get 50% off Virtual Shield VPN. You you can try it free for 30 days, so you've got nothing to lose. Men gawking at naked ladies ruins Swedish Queer Day. Orion sent me this article, and it's f***ing funny, so I thought we'd have a look at it. A feminist LGBT initiative of introducing a queer day at Malmo Bathhouse allowing visitors themselves to choose between men's or women's locker rooms hasn't quite attained the sought after effect. Instead, it's resulted in an influx of men staring at naked women's bodies. No. A bathhouse announced to the public that for one day only, people were allowed to go into whichever locker room they wanted and that resulted in some men looking at some women who were naked? Why, who could predict such a terrible thing? I suspect there might be sinister forces behind this. A backlash the initiators have attributed to patriarchy. <laughs> patriarchy. Diversity lecturer Jeanette Larson claimed that the open doors to women's locker rooms at Ribbers Borg Bathhouse, a novelty introduced after a motion by the feminist politicians Hannah Thomae of the Left Party and Linda Hiltman of the Feminist Initiative, have resulted in an invasion of men who came for the sole purpose of ogling women who otherwise enjoy privacy. Well, yeah, they enjoy privacy. Otherwise, the bathhouse operators announce its open day in the chick's locker room and then they don't enjoy privacy. They were everywhere, in the showers, in the restrooms, in the locker rooms, and on the bathing bridges. The place was teeming with men and not transgender ones, judging by what I could see. The whole thing felt incredibly unpleasant. I did not know what it looked like on the men's side, though. Jeanette Larson described her visit to the daily newspaper, Afton Bladet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Firstly, isn't Afton Bladet a funny sounding word? Those zany foreigners and their funny sounding words. And secondly, while this may be very unorthodox, I'm afraid I'm going to have to step in here and defend intersectional feminism. What? Mm-hmm, that's right, Jontron. You see, one of intersectional feminism's primary goals is to break down societal gender norms and shit. And it's come a really long way. Intersectional feminism has taught us that athletic world records aren't just possible for men with penises, but for women with penises too. Intersectional feminism has taught us that it's possible for a man to give birth to a baby out of his vagina. So isn't it also possible for women with penises to perv on naked bitches in the chick's locker room? I think Jeanette Larson was being extremely transphobic when she just assumed that the individuals perving on those naked bitches in the chick's locker room were men. And it's this kind of closed-minded thinking that we could all do without, especially on Queer Day. Recession, recession.